Have you ever noticed that sometimes when you take a picture with your iPhone, then transfer the file to your PC or to a website, and you look at it, it's upside down. And you're wondering, why would this be upside down? How the heck could it be upside down when you can carry the phone in any direction and look at the pictures you took right on your phone and they're not upside down on the phone? So why would they be upside down when you get to certain websites? Why would they be upside down when you get to uh, certain uh, photo editors, uh, some, even some of the Adobe programs upside down? Well, that's because every camera inside of a, a digital camera has a natural orientation. That is to say it has a preferred um, orientation. And when you take your picture, if it's in any orientation other than that, it specifically saves it in the natural orientation and then it makes a little metadata, let's call it that, it's EXIF data, but they put little data in the hidden parts of the photo that tells whatever program you're running what the actual orientation is. And unfortunately, and this is why I really can't blame some photo editors, some websites, some photo software in general, ignores that information and it shows it in its natural state, which means that sometimes they're sideways or backward or whatever. So <clears throat> how do I know this is a problem with Apple? Well, the reason is the chip inside of the iPhone is upside down. Now, of course, you're probably again saying, well, you can hold the camera any direction you want. What's, how do you know which is right side up? Well, when the original iPhone came out, there really was no such thing as right side up or upside down because people held it wherever they held it. But then Apple released a feature that allowed you to use the button on the top the way you would, the volume button that is, the way you would a shutter button on a camera. So whenever you hit it, it would take a picture. So from that version of the iOS on, there was now, at least as far as holding it, a more natural way of holding it where you would hold it with that button on top. But with that button on top, it was contrary to the way they actually had the chip, which was with the button side down. So if you are using certain software, or if you're loading your photos onto certain websites and you're confused or frustrated by the fact that the photos are always upside down, then if you're going to shoot pictures, shoot them, at least for now, with the button side down Otherwise, the pictures are sometimes going to be upside down. And that's something Apple could fix by telling their engineering people, put the button, excuse me, put the chip this way. With the button up, that's the natural orientation. But they don't do that. Instead, they take the picture and store it upside down and they leave it to the software companies to flip it over. So you really can't necessarily blame the software companies, although they could fix that. But it would be a lot easier if Apple simply flipped the camera over so that when you're holding the camera with the buttons up, that that's the natural or orientation. So that's a bug with Apple's iPhone. And uh, that today's idea today is they should change it so that that is no longer the default orientation. And that's today's idea of the day. And I don't need any of you people to subscribe to my channel. I don't need anything at all, except maybe this chair. And that's it. I only need the chair and maybe this paddleball game and the remote control and the ashtray and nothing else. I don't need anything. And this lamp. But I don't need any subscribers.